I, I mean, in, in life, not had a, a great childhood. I was always capable and uh, I was offered a scholarship which uh, I didn't take because I didn't feel like I would fit in. Somewhere in my head that was still all spinning around and stopping me from kind of breaking out and saying, actually, no, I'm not all them things that you, you know, that you said, this is me. That is, that's the way the, the apprentice helped me, I feel, which, like I say, that gave me a lot of confidence. I felt empowered because, see, it was very personal, the reasons why I felt empowered is because I just realised that society are given ways to deal with certain things, but they're not given anything to deal with difference anything that's different from you or that you don't understand or you don't know about it you either fear it or you fight against it I went to Salford Apprentice and I found out about neighbourhood management team and community committee and so we applied for that and we got a thousand pounds to buy the flowers the baskets the benches the tools I think the sense of achievement came on the day when we did the actual clean-up and so many people came out with the tools to help because I was unsure whether or not, you know, they were going to help. People had kind of said, you know, I'm not interested. Council are paid to do that. And so I was really pleased when I came out. There was children and families and there was around 20 to 25 people just all getting stuck in, cleaning and speaking to each other and they'd never met. That, I took a moment just to stand and watch them all and and just know, well, really, I've, I've organised this and it's a good feeling, it's nice. I mean, I didn't intend for it to be, but it has been an example to other people and other people have really, I mean, have come to me and said, you know, you're an inspiration because to to see what you can do if you get involved... It makes people, you know, really want to do it and, and try it for themselves, which, like I say, they have done. Just when they pass in to go to work, and what they said was, you know, when I look out of my bedroom window in the morning, I want to see that. I don't want to see all the rubbish. People were wary because they didn't know the neighbours, and so by meeting the neighbours and forming relationships and friendships, you know, they, they do, they feel a lot safer. The Weast Area Forum was set up, I think it was around March last year. There was eight of us, local residents from Weast, and we were on um, a Community Pride Unit School of Participation. As we started to attend various meetings, we, we found that Weast was really underrepresented, so we wanted everybody else to know, so we started to set up the group. And then we started to see areas where money, we didn't think the money was being spent right or wasn't being evenly distributed. And it was mainly because not a lot of people in Weiss were asking for money for activities. We've got that network now where we've got links into everywhere. We generally will help in any way that we can to get people involved in community, to build their confidence, build their skills. Councillors will come to us and ask us questions or ask us to help them. Tales have turned a bit. We do seem to have a bit more weight. People do know who we are. They do listen to us because they know that we're not going to go away. The council and the government do have their ways of trying to promote things. People just, you know, it's from the council, we don't read it. I didn't even know who the councillors were, the local councillors, anything like that. And I'm not on the electoral roll to vote and never had that interest. The reason why the, the more affluent area get more things is because they know who to contact, where to go, you know, they know all the procedures. By coming together, it gives you that stronger voice, but it also shows you that, you know, people power. You can you can make that difference, maybe not as easily as you could on your own, but with the support of other people. I'm sceptical about all the, you know, public consultations. I, I think it's all paperwork, but I still attend because 
I want to, to be heard and have my say. And I, I have created changes with my voice and so that's that just proves to me then that I can do it and, and I should continue to.